Hey guys, my name's Simon, and I'm a big Hat Films fan and a scientist, which explains why I've been kidnapped and I've been put in the Hat Films science dungeon. We're trying to convince them of flat earth theory, but it's not going well. I mean, I have a PhD in, in physics. Yeah, of so course. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. I know. do concede to your superior knowledge. We do, yeah. We, we're very good. It's flat, though. I mean, yeah. we, we believe that. I've right? got a pretty stand by that. Of like, Venus is yeah. a. Giant. Well, to prove how much you know about science, yes, I, I have some. I have a quiz for you. Oh, oh wow! We're okay. going to be we're going to be ranging across all the different parts of science. We're okay. going to be getting some biology in there, some chemistry, some physics. Oh my god! And what I've done is try to tailor this so it's it's Hat Films esque. So oh, I know good. Good. what your re, what your viewers like and what you guys are interested in. Yeah. If so, you could tell us what our viewers like, that would yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, we need to know that actually. So, um, <laughs> so I'd like to present to you the first round. Oh, very nice. Oh. Whose anus is that? Wow, Ooh, whose anus shit. is that? So, uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to show actual pictures of anus. Why not? Ain't I? I don't know what the plural of anus is. <laughs> we can always, we can always blur them out. Um, but uh, these are going to be butts, because I don't want it to get okay. demonetized any faster than your videos that's are fine, normally. That's fine, that's yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah. So, behind these six doors... <laughs> okay. There okay. are six nice. butts. Wow. Mm. Working down the line, Chris, do you want okay. give to... Give me a number. Oh, it's number? difficult, isn't it? Like, counting, for one. Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah. the shapes of those things are impossible. I like to go for number... Door number three. Door number three. Door number three, please. What is behind door number three? Oh, oh okay. So this is a, this is an unfair one. This is probably the most unfair of all of them, unless you're an expert in cetaceans. I don't think you're going to get this one. But there's, I'll ask you two questions. What animal is that, and why is it? What's special about that butt? Is that a great white? No. It's not a great white. No. It is. It is the one of the two. Great white shark. Come on. <laughs> I was thinking. Well, this fucking tail is flat for a start. I mean, you'd be forgiven you, for something. You don't work for the whales or... and dolphins trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we do. I mean, we yeah. saw the fin. There was on no top. test to pass yeah. there, unfortunately. That's also, great. I was thinking more where the anus is. Ah. Yeah, so th this is this was a difficult animal to get a picture of its anus. Okay. Uh, this is a... Did you do a lot of snorkeling? Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. you've got, uh, you've this got is a pygmy sperm whale. Ah. So it's one of the two smallest yeah. species of whale. Oh, wow. Um, it's actually about the size of a human. To get really? Okay. Yeah. Um, That's pretty cute. What is unusual about <laughs> its <laughs> anus? What's unusual? Uh, it's shaped like uh, an ostrich. Its anus is also its mouth. Oh, fuck. The, oh. That is a, that is a lot of bad guess. Like, they look like alligator jaws. Uh. So the thing that's special about this is it um, has a special sac near its anus, uh, uh, which acts as a defense mechanism. When threatened, it shoots out something called anal syrup. Oh! oh. So I do something very similar. You so do that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When threatened, there's that gif of the yeah. dog when it gets surprised. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, uh, can I get Craig to put that in? Can I make Craig you can, request? You can make a Craig request. Craig, put that in. Thank you, Craig. There's a gif in there now. So so, okay, so that was no points for Chris. Uh, Not a great one. It's a zero. No, right, no. so, okay. um, Smith? Alex? I'll take a five. five. Please, Carol. Okay. <laughs> Aha! Oh, wow, that yeah. is, is that the anus? Is that that like is a, a butt of an that animal. Is a butt of an animal. It is not, in fact, a Jaffa cake or an Oreo. Mother of God, it's so, That's like, so crusty geometric. Such a <laughs> macro shot. I mean, seeing... it doesn't even look explicit because it's so, kind of... Is... So, and these are all animals, right? They are all animals. Is this the imprint of... Creation. This is like a, some like sort of there. stargate. It does. <laughs> if you gaze too long into it, yeah. you just get lost. It looks like the Mayan calendar. Wow. It does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> oh! oh that, it's come up. So, oh, I, I hit it by accident. Okay, well, you're seeing as there were no guesses, that is the back of oh. a. Um, uh, it's a trapdoor spider. Oh. That's insane. So, does anyone want to guess why it is that way? It's spinnerets fire it out, or is it sensitive or something? Like. Uh, so what it, this is another defense mechanism. Oh. It, what it does is it um, it burrows down yeah. and then it plugs the the tunnel that it's made with its ass. Right. Okay. And th nothing can get in to predate on it. Oh yeah. Oh, so wow. that's a hardened like shield. Oh. It's like a cork. Yeah. So surely exactly. a bird could just come along and go. Bop. Yeah. Apparently they get predated on by birds. Presumably nice. they think that's an acorn. Oh. Uh, yeah. One theory. But yeah. So it is, a it's a shield. Or a stargate. It's a bird or a stargate. stargate. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Captain America of the spider world. <laughs> Get this man an anus. Yeah. Get this man an anus. <laughs> no anuses for Smith either, so... That's, yeah. That's no points for Smith. Okay. Ross. Fuck. Um, go for number four. Four. Number four. Let's see what anus this is. Aha. Oh, is it? Oh, man, look at like that little it, you're, you're close. Oh, is it like a... Mm, Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you snapping. Uh, snapping turtle. It's not a snap. I'll give you. I'll give you a mark for that, Russ. I feel like oh, that's okay. fair. Wow. Can you give me half a mark? Yeah, a, you give me half. Exactly. That's okay. That's a yeah. half. Yeah, half a mark. I'll take a half. That is a Fitzroy River turtle. Wow, wow. look at it. Look at that. Which, which to me, it looks like that. Uh, the meme, the SpongeBob squid. Uh, it's yeah. Like, you know, the fish that's just like. What are you doing? Oh yeah. Sticking yeah. yeah. his head out. Um, yeah. What is special about its anus? 
what is oh, special? Oh man, does it just like eat sand up or something? Is it like, <laughs> does, it, does it gobble up water and spray it on his enemies? Um, is it all of its uh, organs at once? So oh, it's all of its organs. Well, because most Brain, a lot uh, of reptiles. Sorry, not all of its organs. Oh, so most reptiles, their their butthole is also their pee hole and their sex hole. Yeah, it's oh. a cloaca. A cloaca, which is the Latin for sewer. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Listen, there is literally the main sense. sewer really out of Rome works. is called the Cloaca Maxima. Ah, okay. um, yes. Get in my cloaca. It's also just a great word. <laughs> yeah, it it's not that. It, um, it breathes through its ass. It breathes breathe. through its ass. No yeah. way. It's it's called I think cloacan respiration. <laughs> oh my sewer God. respiration. God. Yeah. Uh, it, so it, it, it can stay underwater. I, I read for three weeks. Wow, that's amazing. So, that's amazing. But it's not like perfectly it efficient. It's not the same as like breathing through its mouth. So it, it can breathe through its mouth. It can also breathe. It's like sixty percent of efficiency, something like that. And every wow. breath he takes tastes like <laughs> shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if he has a taste buds. God, what's well, worse, yeah. drowning or tasting what he just ate? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you I don't know, know what his diet. Would you have taste buds on your ass? Probably not. Does he? <laughs> okay, right. So uh, back down to truck. Okay, I'm gonna go for number one. Number one. Ah, yeah. Ooh. This is a fun one. So it's probably not a caterpillar. No. Is this like the QI? Probably, probably not a caterpillar. Woo! Yeah. I feel like it's like a trick. I think it is a caterpillar truck. You think so? Yeah. Is it a caterpillar? It is a caterpillar. Yes! <laughs> there we go. Nice. Uh, specifically, this it. is a skipper caterpillar. Skip and I can do out. one better than showing you a uh, picture oh, of it. Wow. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. right. Blink and you'll miss this. Watch its ass, which is on the right. It's on the right, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. his head, the big round ball. Oh. Nice. And it goes, doink. What, what was, that? was that? So it projectile shoots its its that crap. Is. That is yeah. yeah that is um, it's uh, <laughs> the top it comment on YouTube was like a scat out of hell. <laughs> um, it can fire them about 1.4 meters. Oh my nice. god, that's amazing. It's good distance. Why? What's its purpose? So I think partly it's defense mechanism again, but wow. more it's um, keeping its nests where, where it lives clean of stuff that can get infected. Oh, okay. So it's only like an that's inch long. Again. It's like 40 times its body length that it can just fire shit. I've had those to be fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was a point for, for Trot. Yes, uh, so that's a point. Smith, I'm only on half a point. What was that? Smith's on zero points. Huh? So, another choice. Uh, six, please. Six. I can't remember what this one is. Aha! Ah! That little wombat. It is a wombat! Oh, you got the Great straight in there. I was going to say quack. Now, what he is, is, a wombat when he what is unusual about <laughs> the <laughs> wombat's bird? <laughs> it is just a funny animal. Um, is it like hardened and reinforced or like there's like a big bump on it right oh, that like they can um they use it, it to is, like it is exactly correct or something oh. yeah. so it's reinforced with cartilage um yeah. and it does the same thing as the spider in that it blocks its burrow but also if uh, it can let predators get on top of it and then, and then it smashes their yeah. skull oh. with its ass oh. i've oh, seen some gosh. videos of like people getting stuck with them uh, there's, oh, there's a couple of guys so they like to burrow under bridges and things like that as well and so the guy crawls in to try and see it and he's like oh. All right, mate. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. He's, he's stuck me in here and he's like, Mah! and he's just basically just like, fucking hell, I'm going to die under this bridge because this <laughs> fucking wombat. And he's like, having hey, literally like, I mean, he's not being violent about it, but he's like pushing the wombat with his feet, just trying oh. to get out of this pipe. <laughs> yeah. Well, there aren't many more embarrassing animals to be killed exactly, by. Exactly. Yeah. A wombat's ass. A wombat's yeah. ass. So that, just, that leaves you, Ross, with yeah, number okay. two. Yeah, throw it at me. Um, oh, this oh. Is, oh, that is. Oh. It just looks like an underwater yeah. creature. Um, oh man, it's not like a squid or something, is it weird like that? It does look like a squid. Because obviously mouth, you know they've got like a tiny little beak as well, but that's not the arse. Um, Ross, just like, say what we're all thinking. Human. <laughs> is it my arsehole? <laughs> it is, it is not points. your arsehole. You were half close Damn with, um, with sea enemy. It is a sea cucumber. Oh, cucumber. Oh, sea oh, okay. Which is the closest relation of um, things like an enemy. Oh, but okay. what, is, what was it? Why, why is its ass that way? Oh, I don't know. Did things try and get inside it so it just clamps down? Are they teeth? They yeah. are, are anal they teeth. Oh, anal teeth. Oh, nice. oh they are. They, they, are, they are anal teeth. So they, um, oh. there's a fish that swims up inside sea cucumbers oh. and uses, basically lives in them. Oh wow. And it can eat anything in the inside. Um, there's two things that sea cucumbers do to try and combat that. They have anal teeth to stop them getting in or they shoot their internal organs out. Oh. Um, oh. Like, yeah, so and, and, and just like, and it's, it and it's like another defense mechanism, but they disembowel themselves and shove it at That's the, why you uh, can kind of like, 
Jack I Locke, think so, right? yeah. And they yeah. spray their organs everywhere. Is that yeah. safe to put it? <laughs> Craig, yeah. That's, yeah. that's a risky Google. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm no, say my yeah. search history <laughs> has been corrupted <laughs> by putting this together. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Incognito. I've just had oh anal God. syrup, um, anal teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be served some really weird Anal ads. syrup is really I like gross. the way you worded it. It was like it chose to have teeth on its ass. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's how evolution works. It's sort of a couple of ways to do it. I wish my arsehole had some teeth in it. Okay, so at the end of the first round, Trot's got one point, Ross has got one and a half points. Oh. Smith's got two points. Two. Oh, that that fucking wombat. The wombat yeah. got you. Wombat live. Okay, so that was the end of the first round. Okay. Now the next round is, what do you remember from school? Oh, no. So yeah. I have here... Not much. Vicious bullying. I, I have remember uh, a guy drinking his own piss. Three. <laughs> what? Past papers. So this, this is a question from a GCSE past paper in biology. Oh, no. uh, and I would like oh, you to no. have a crack at answering this. Oh no. So this may oh, take a little, no. a little moment. So bear in mind, for those of you who aren't from the UK, this is meant to be done by 16 year olds. Mm -hmm. um, oh my the, god. The bare minimum of science that you're supposed to do in school. Looking at first synthesis, you've got C6H12O6, right? Yeah, you do. Like, uh, you're not going to get bonus points for impressing ah. me. <laughs> for those of you who are interested, by the way, I do Twitch streams of uh, maths and physics past papers for GCSE, A level, and Olympiad stuff. So that's twitch.tv uh, forward slash Dr. Simon Clark if you, if you want to see me do this live and fail. Is this bringing back unpleasant memories? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember pond weed no. being a thing. Or light. I feel like we're all really hung up on this pond weed question. <laughs> I mean, it's six marks, right? You gotta go, go ham. Yeah. Done. Don't, don't get bonus was... points for finishing first, sir. I'm afraid I, not. Finish mine. I couldn't tell if that was done or if you needed extra paper. <laughs> no, I finished mine. They're all good. Tell you what, should we swap? Yeah, <laughs> so we can swap. mark each other's. Okay. What was the answer to the first question? What is the correct word equation for photosynthesis? I couldn't say photosynthesis then. I think Photosynth it's the last one, which is water and carbon dioxide makes oxygen and glucose. That is correct, Chris. Yes, yes. we all got it right. Well done. Tick. Okay, um, Ross, what answer do you have on question two? Or part um, two? Okay, so, 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 here so we go. there's this a graph showing um, <laughs> pond weed, and then the rate of photosynthesis in the pond weed <laughs> is affected by different colors of light. Describe a method you could use to investigate this. You should include what you would measure. Variables you would control. <laughs> oh, fuck's sakes, Ross. <laughs> Reading Ross's answer. Um, so you measure the amount of oxygen at the surface. Is that an answer? Uh, well, I mean, it's an answer, but like, I don't know. It's, 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 it's an entire it's a process. Measure at the surface. Control light by experimenting in complete darkness, introduce light, starting at red, measuring oxygen output after a specific amount of time, then move along the color spectrum measuring for the same amount of time. Okay, I mean, I the same answer? when you say measure at the surface, can I get some clarification? This is me. me. Oh, this is you. Yeah, this is me. So, I mean, it rises to the surface mm. of yeah. this little apparatus, so you just measure it then. So, what you, when you mean the top of the test tube? The top of the test yeah. tube. Right, okay. Uh, in which case, I feel like that, that's a pretty good answer. I feel, I feel like that's five marks then. That's, that's okay. five marks. You have five, that's amazing. Smith. Thank you. I feel like you should read mine so, first, because I think okay. this, is, this would be a better one to finish with. Smith okay. said, the depth of water determines what wavelengths of light reach the plant. He would then keep the water depth and amount of light the same and measure the amount of oxygen produced. I would use spectral analysis to look at how the different wavelengths of light so, match not. up with the oxygen produced. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> spectral analysis so he, is that just he's throwing it in there as a. This is a GCSE science question! <laughs> Like, so think, right, so think about it, yeah, so you've got a constant light source, let's say daylight, right? You have um, a constant depth of water, yes. yeah? You have the little plant at the bottom, yeah. right? I'm measuring at the top the amount of oxygen that bubbles to the surface, Through right? In the test tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's bubbling from the, from the pond weed, which I presume is... Uh, so you need the test tube at like, at least 10 yeah. meters deep well, to Well, I mean, you know, we can granulize all of this, but yeah. Um, it's a lot easier to do it's that. Details. Yeah, it's yeah, so, but it didn't specify the depth. It didn't give me any limitations, so this is how I perform it. So I would stick my pond weed at the bottom of the fucking marinara trench, or <laughs> Mariana's strength, sorry. Um, and um, yeah, essentially you go, right, it produced this much oxygen. Let's look at how, how far the light penetrated and what wavelengths of light get to the plant. So we know, for example, that red goes first at deep depths, yeah? yeah. So I know, for example, that red isn't getting into it, but we know that um, I think um, violet or something penetrates very, very deeply or something along those lines. Yeah. Whichever yeah. color blue, pen penetrates the most deeply, yeah. we'll then measure that against the amount of oxygen produced on the surface. So we can say, right, blue light causes this plant to um, produce this much suction. So you're, you're, you're only testing basically that the 
density of blue light that reaches. At that point, but then I presume that the plant grows because it's a <laughs> it's a growing thing. So yeah, but, but, there's a huge problem with your experiment. What? Because at the surface you have all wavelengths. Yeah. You're not limiting it to just one wavelength. I am because it's about the depth that it penetrates at. No, but that, that's still no, not no, monochromatic. It's, it's right. Still, yeah, it's not monochromatic. What do you mean? Oh, 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 oh I see what you mean. Yeah, at the yeah, top yeah, you have all of them and then they're filtering down to just blue. Yeah. You're not just specifying blue then right. yellow. Okay. So I, I feel like I, I love the insanity of your answer, right, okay. um, but it's completely uh, wrong. Uh, I, I'll give you two marks for that. Okay, right. uh, it does say in the mark scheme the response may lack a logical structure, <laughs> and would not lead to the production of valid results. Yeah, I feel like that's that's two marks. Right, so okay. uh, two marks. Fair. So first thing Ross would do is find out if the weed gets you high as fuck. Or it says high AF. Yes. Yeah. Sure, assuming yeah. it's as uh, He would then check to yeah. see if the weed is limp and tastes like oranges. Yeah. Uh, third, it's bad if it tastes like oranges. It was bad. It, Sprinkle herbs into the water to see if it cures depression. Is another thing you said. Have you tried that one before? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to look at the mark scheme for this yeah. one. Yeah. Um, um, and drink the water, and if you bomb, <laughs> you win. Is uh, his final point. <laughs> yeah. Well, you look pleased with yourself and with just, just cause. The science. Um, there is a thing you hear in the science. mark scheme that says plant releases gas. Okay. Um, I feel it doesn't make like you high. I don't, that's that find is, out. He's yeah. gonna find out. I feel okay. like that, that's a one mark answer. Okay. <laughs> one I feel mark. like something, that's something in this. So that got one mark that. and that got two. <laughs> Fuck it out. The scientist has said that light. Well, Craig, put this, put this graph up. I'm loving Thank having Craig to walk around. Yeah. Um, uh, put the graph up. And the scientist has said light stop being, stops being a limiting factor at a light intensity of 20 units. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what evidence? Um, Ross, where will you go first? Okay, so we have uh, measuring beyond 20 units results in no increase in the rate of photosynthesis, creating a horizontal line. Yep, that's a mark. That's, that's mm. correct. So I could tell that was trust because the writing just looks like a lot tidier. It's a lot. It's very Hermione writing. I, I it's very nice writing. I capitalized oh, okay, to did, make it me. easy to read. He had a good pen. So Smith put, once light intensity reaches 20 units, the rate of photosynthesis does not increase. That's correct, Smith. Yay. Well, finally, a sensible answer. Yeah, it was a really stupid one because I was just like, you're just saying what they said essentially in different words. Uh, and then lastly, there's a limiting factor. What is one limiting factor? I thought it was a trick question. Okay. So I just put light. Uh, that is incorrect. That's the trick. It's bullshit. I think it's rigged by NASA. Ross put nothing changes because we're in a simulation. <laughs> um, I don't think that's on on the mark scheme again. We so are in a simulation though, so nothing changes. <laughs> well, Smith, nothing matters. Smith put availability of CO2. That is correct. Yay. You try hard prick. Well, <laughs> apparently not try hardy enough to get fucking five you marks. You tried too hard. <laughs> so at the moment, uh, Trot's got How eight marks, Smith's got seven marks, and Ross has got four and a half. Now we're moving into round number three. Wow. This is going to be what's going on here. How many rounds are there so I know how long I have to... There's four in total. Right, I've got oh, okay. two more rounds to claw this back. This is similar to the first round. There are three doors now. So nice. I want each of you to choose one door. I'm going to show you a picture or a video of a natural phenomenon. Okay. And I want you to give me your best explanation as to what is happening. This is okay. very much a GTA video, I'm okay. imagining. Okay. I like but it. With a stimulus. Uh, Trot, do you want to go first? Number two, please. Simon. Number two. Aha, right. So this, to give you some context, this is a picture of a, from an observatory in, I think it's Hawaii. Yeah, okay. And um, this is a phenomenon that's a seen on- A propaganda machine. Yes, exactly. Uh, it's a, it's a, this is a phenomenon that's seen on tall structures with pointed edges mm -hmm. and on ships at the, uh, on the sea. And um, specifically, it's the glowing purple light. Oh, okay. Well, it's not ultraviolet light, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No, because you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Sorry, so that, I didn't mean that to be quite so brutal. That was such a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Sit down! No, so because you can see it, you... <laughs> Is there a form of chemical reaction happening? It's not a form of chemical reaction. This is an example of St. Elmo's fire. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So this is a inter really interesting phenomenon. That's gas ionising. Um, I knew this. Oh, did you? I knew it was ionization, yeah. Can, yeah, well, yeah. Hey, well, can, you, can you explain? I'll give you half a mark if you can explain a bit more. Oh, okay. Fuck. No, I, <laughs> I, knew, I thought it was ionization. I mean, it, uh, is it because of the points? Um, it like, is because like, of like, the points. So I'm going to get a bit more than that. So the way that gas. Um, uh, uh, is it to do with magnetism or something along those lines, like um, uh, uh, fields? So there's you like know, a. I'll give you half a mark for that. I think. So the fields funnel the gas in a certain way or something along those lines, so, off the points. So the points. Um, this is this happens in uh, really strong electrical fields, so thunderstorms and things like that. What the points do is they focus the electric fields. So there's a really sharp gradient in it, mm. um, and it's something like one thousand four hundred 
volts per meter or something like that. It needs to get past that point. And then it basically tears the oxygen and nitrogen in the air apart. Mm. Wow. Um, the, Didn't just you the say, was it a gas though? Chemical reaction, I think. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is a physical thing, it's not a chemical right, reaction. Right, right. But when, and then when that happens, the gases fluoresce, and so they give off light, and the, 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 the color is because it's nitrogen and oxygen. Yeah, I, um, I was real close to saying that. Well, Smith, do you want to have a chew? I'll take number three. Number three. Aha, now this is a video. So, oh, to explain. You get a video, damn it. So, this is um, a liquid that is in that container, and that container is completely impermeable. Oh. And yet, it is dripping out of the bottom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is this something to do with supercooling? Or not? N nearly. Oh, um. Fuck. Uh, it, uh, is it a superfluid? It is a superfluid. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a superfluid, and um, <clears throat> it, 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 it's something to do with it existing. Is it nothing to do with, is it multiple states or some shit like that? Like, it's, like it, it's kind of It like can that. pass through the molecules of the impermeable memory? It's a superfluid. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. This is helium at about yeah. okay. really Kelvin. Yeah, like yeah, so really low just, temperature. Like, just above yeah. absolute zero. And what happens when you get it that cool is it turns into this state called a superfluid, which is one, an example of a Bose-Einstein condensate. When it, it's in this state, it loses all viscosity. So if you start oh. stirring it and come back a million years later, it will still, still be, be stirring. stirring. Oh man! But it doesn't lose any energy to friction. And what happens is it basically that lack of viscosity means that it can crawl up the sides of the walls, and then it oh, it just it just sprawls out, and then it and it ah. spills out and down. Yeah. Uh, Ross, you're, oh, number one. Number yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. sure? I'm right. sure that's. What is that? Well, it looks like a black hole. Um, I'll give you. Okay, I'll tell you. It's not a black hole. It is okay. a picture of galaxies. Yeah. yeah. But what is that in the middle? And I'm interested in the uh, ring rather than the orange thing. Oh, okay. Is it another galaxy? Like, as in, like, further away, or...? It is that, yeah, but yeah. why is it that shape? So I feel like I'm in a tutorial. God, I don't know. Yeah, you. like, I have no idea why that's... So, can I, can so, I, can I, can do I you know what that is? Yeah? Is it because something's exploded and pushed out this, like this? It it's not that. This, uh, this is a... a, a oh, truck. Do you want to is it here? potentially a gravity well? Ah, oh, nearly. I'll give you half a mark for that, because yeah. it's nearly there. It's an example of gravitational lensing. Oh, okay. yeah. So that, the ring, which is called an Einstein ring, uh, famously expanded by Schrodinger. Um, oh, sorry, that's, that's an inside physics joke. Um, <laughs> um, is a galaxy that's behind that orange object. So oh, like, okay. um, like a lens bends light in you know, just everyday experience, uh, the strength of the orange object, which I can't remember, it's either a galaxy or a galaxy cluster, right, okay. um, has bent space-time enough that the rays of light that would have shot to the left and the right of us are bent inwards oh, by the force okay. of the gravity. So if an object's dead in the center of it, you get this ring effect, oh, so it's kind of spread out. So cool. gravity can affect light. Yeah, so this is, I remember I asked this in year eight, and I was like, hey, how does you like light get affected eight. like you if it doesn't have a mass? Because yeah. it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. And I remember my, my teacher was like, I, do a physics degree. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's because um, gravity works by affecting the space, the space time that the light exists in. Right. Wow. So it compresses and stretches the space time. And so like, if you get close to a black hole, for example, then you see an, um, if you see an object fall into it, you see it fall slower and slower and slower. Because space itself is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. The way I like the relative it, movement of the craft. Yeah, to them, this, the yeah. person falling in, they don't notice, it, notice anything yeah. strange. But to you, it's like watching Gromit in um, uh, the wrong trousers where he's laying down the track. Mm -hmm. Like it, each track is the same length to him, but yeah. to you, you're seeing the track lengths get shorter and shorter and shorter. And eventually yeah. they reach a zero length just as he hits the event horizon. Yeah. So it's bending the space time, and that's it's, it's a, creates a lens. There's in waves wow, of really time cool. as well, right? That yeah, so that was that was discovered of... recently, although we think that might not have happened. There's, there's a bit oh, of controversy shit. as to whether or not that was like a, like false a measurement positive. error. People measured it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know enough about it, but there's a possibility that well, it was they a think that, false so, positive. So they think gravity isn't waves? Uh, well, they, they think that it might still be waves. It's still general relativity is the best prediction of it, but um, the specific phenomenon of measuring those gravity waves, I think they. I think the issue is they think it's an ex experimental error, right? Yeah. Um, rather than an actual physical. So they still don't have data to prove that. Well, uh, so far science is satisfied. It could right. be disproved. Smith and Trot, you're both on eight and a half. <gasps> oh. And oh. Ross is on three and a half. Right. Now we enter the final round, which is the highest scoring round. Nice. Which is hat film science. Highest so scoring round. These are all questions. I took the trouble of printing out little. Even with, cards, hat on them. even with the hat on Very them. Very nice. Um, which are based on things you've talked about in videos, or they're based on things that just surround hat films. So, okay. first one to buzz in with the correct answer gets the cards, it's worth a point each. Slam on the table. Yeah. Question number one How many gas giants are there in the solar system? Ten. That's incorrect. <laughs> one. No. Wait, I meant to say buzz, I don't know why I said one. <laughs> buzz. Three. 
No. Bars two. No. Bars four. Correct. Yeah. Why are you just going with some random? We're guessing. I'm just like. Wait, oh, right, question number two. I'll give you ten either way. How many calories are there in a Kinder Bueno? Three hundred. Three eighty. Two eight seven. No. Four hundred. No, it's 122. Oh, wow! Right. I'm surprised you surprising liked. the good for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, not good for you, but well, I mean, not bad. God, I don't know why I thought that'd be more. Uh, which planetary body in the solar system has lakes of liquid farts? Bat Uranus. Oh, rude, uh, and also incorrect. Ah, I had to go for it. Bat <laughs> Jupiter. No. Bat Neptune. No. Bat I'll give you a clue, it's not Mercury. Mercury. Bat Mercury. gone. It's not a planet. Oh, I gas from, what was that? Titan. Titan. Right, correct. Always... Oh, Titan. Which planet has the strongest surface gravity? But yeah. what's the closest one to the sun? Uranus. Uh, well, Dan, Neptune. what's the closest one to the sun? Venus. So, so wait, Mercury. Mercury. Wait, so just, just to clarify something, the surface gravity is affected by its proximity to the sun. Yeah. Mars? Oh, no. Mercury. No. No. <laughs> no, it's the mass of the planet. That... Uh, oh, okay, so... What's a big one? Jupiter? Correct. Uh, there we go. Uh, doctors now regularly grow skin grafts for burn victims from which readily available source of excess skin? Yes. Uh, penis. What, what specifically? Foreskin. It is baby foreskins. Oh. When they <laughs> when they circumcise babies, um, <laughs> oh maybe this God. is more in America. They can get up to twenty three thousand. Uh, sorry, tw yeah, twenty three thousand square meters of skin from it. Holy oh. shit, that's a big it's like stretching the foreskin but out. Essentially, that's sale. helping other people, so that's kind of good. What does the medical condition diphallus result in? Your phallus dies. No. <laughs> um, uh, shrinking penis. No. Pupils go really big. That's no, dilation. I know that's dilation. That's dilation. I'm trying to think if there's anything uh, near. is having been born with two dicks. Oh, oh my god, really? Wow. Yeah, there was, there was a guy on Reddit called Double Di Dick Dude. Di oh yeah, I saw him pissing. It's in the yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, did yeah. It AMA, uh, you can Google that one if you want. There was also a kid this Do they both year. work equally or is one yep. stronger than the they're, other? They're big old dicks as well. They're like <laughs> six and eight inches respectively. Mm. Um, it's got options. This will be a quick response. What does scuba stand for? Bear, sub, aqua. Nope. I don't know. You right. literally have diving qualifications. I have no idea what scuba means. That's so dumb. I can't believe that we don't know that. It's self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Oh, oh my god! Why, did, why was that not? <laughs> <theory>? <laughs> no, I was expecting there was you to so go much that. stuff on yeah. that theory. Like, oh my god! But okay, that was like number one. Uh, in the Middle Ages, men who wanted to sire a son would sometimes have their left testicle chopped off. Why? Do they think they would be stronger sperm? Oh wait, bam! Because they believe that one ball was responsible for females and one ball oh, was responsible for males. That's correct. Really? And they, were... they thought the left ball was for female sperm. Mm. Wow. And so that like, makes well, a lot of better, sense. Better chop one of those off. That makes off. a lot of sense. I, um... Wait, that's not true. What? No. <laughs> Which animal is pregaunt for the shortest period? Bam. Ants. Platypus. A ants oh. don't give birth. Oh. They lay eggs. Dogs? Do they? Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, they lay eggs. Sea otter. Banjo. It's, it, it, it's the hamster. Hamster. Oh. It's pregnant for between 16 and 23 days. Wow. wow. What so a baller. Most like ah. rabbits. Which animal is prognat for the longest period? A whale? Yeah, some like sort of whale. Sperm whale or something? Elephant. Elephant is correct. Bam. For 95 weeks. Uh, after four months of being Thor Pragnarok, what biological process does a baby inside a human female start to do? Bam. Produce eggs. Thor oh, Pragnarok. Uh, that is not correct. correct. What? Uh, no. Grows a vagina. Fingernails. Bam. Uh, they even, oh, I don't know. Heart starts beating. They start to urinate. Oh. So they piss oh inside the womb and then they drink their what own piss. What specifically female? Of course. No, uh, no, it's in, inside a human oh, female. Oh, inside a human female. But like, yeah, um, babies piss, drink their own piss. Pissing. Wow, I mean, I... that's how I got the taste for it. <laughs> <laughs> I read something recently that said that, yeah, when females, when they're in the womb, already have their eggs. Yeah. So you were at some point inside your grandma. Because when your grandma was pregnant with your mother, oh your mother God. had all the oh eggs she was no gonna have, way. and therefore one of those eggs was you. Presumably, yeah. Well, half of me was there. Yeah. yeah. Half yeah. my genetic information was there. So you've been inside your grandma, Simon. I literally looked at a picture of my we maternal all granny we the all other have. day. We've all been and there. And we've been inside oh. our own. Oh, lovely. Smith's also been inside mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey! Tell me what he is. Oh, jeez. Do does he get a point for that? Uh, no, I'm going to take Mark's off. Take Mark's off, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what is the common name for sodium chloride? Uh, salt. salt. Oh. You knew Smith would get that one. You need to buzz. Final question. I want, I want you to answer this in Spanish. Oh. What is 420 to the power of zero? Uno. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some good consistent Uno from Ross Hornby. Beautiful. The, uh, the worst scientist in hat films, apparently, is Ross Hornby with seven and a half marks. The I think that was my scientist in my like, year at school. <laughs> does, this, does this match up with how you, how you did it? Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. I, I, <laughs> 
literally didn't do the exams because I was protesting against my lecturer. <laughs> wow. Because wow. okay. I, I literally, they, they screened my face so they wouldn't teach me something and I was, I just said I'm not doing it. What did you do? I don't, I don't know. I, I asked for help or something and he wasn't, didn't want to help me and he was just, he was one of those guys who just could, didn't have time to actually teach someone. That explains a few things. So that explains why this went the way it did. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, real. In second place is Chris Trott. And Hello. the winner, the scientist of Hat Films, is Yay. after all, we were all right in the GTA uh, comment section, yeah. is Alex Smith. Yeah, Thank you. you. Although I, I think I have shown my complete lack of knowledge of the solar system. Yeah. yeah. I, I really don't on know the, anything about it. Like, I mean, I, I love it, but clearly I don't know anything. I, I, you know, I don't know what dictates the amount of gravity and things like that. Maybe, I know now, Max. Maybe watch like uh, Cosmos or something like yeah. that. There's yeah. some good Cosmos. stuff. Or you can watch my channel. Right. Uh, which wow. is, uh, so what is your channel, Simon? <laughs> <That's a good laughs> my, my channel is um, uh, Simon Oxfizz, or if you just search Simon Clark, you'll find it. There'll be a link in the description. Without we'll any put it here. Without, Without any on the end. It's right here. It's right here on the laptop. We'll put it here. And then I'm also on Twitch, on twitch.tv forward slash Dr. Simon Clark. And how often do you stream? I do two streams a week. I do maths and physics on Wednesdays, and I do a game normally Kerbal Space Program. Oh, oh man, I love Kerbal. Nice. Love uh, we actually landed a rover on Mars, which oh, was wow. it took like four streams. We finally Jeez. got it. Dude, I might have to um, draw on your expertise at some point um, in Kerbal Space Program, obviously. Sure, <laughs> not, the, not the academics, <laughs> but because I, I'm sure I'm as shit to... still don't understand how to, how to play that game. I'd, I'd love yeah. to do it, honestly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need to do more gaming, basically, because yeah, yeah. you're the channel that I watch pretty much every day, oh, wow. and it's oh, just like it seems I, really strange. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 just. You, you, you love science and facts. <laughs> We're and dumbing you down. That's not, <laughs> yeah. not face palming, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. When we get into science. Yeah, yeah well, watching you. this one's about it's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> thank you kindly for coming here yeah. and providing thank us Thank you for having me. Yeah, it was yeah. really yeah. fun. Thank you, yeah. It was great. Go check out Simon on his channel. Mm -hmm. Please do. And yeah, we are going to get grilled in the comments now. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. <laughs> We're done. It's fine. Thanks for watching. smoke some pond weed. Let's smoke some pond weed, everyone. Get some of that sticky photo sicky. Orangey. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.